In this video, we are going to study the Gram-Schmidt process, which is used to convert a linearly independent set into an orthonormal set. So we will consider the two vectors that are given in the set S as I will say the first vector is u1 which is 1 comma 1 and the second vector is u2 which is 0 comma 1. Clearly this set S is a linearly independent set because you can see the determinant of the two vectors 1 1 and 0 1. This determinant is 1. So it's non-zero. So this means that the set S is a linearly independent set. Now this set is not a orthogonal or orthonormal set. It is very clear because you can see the first vector u1 is here and the second vector u2 is here and they are not perpendicular to each other. So to convert this linearly independent set into a orthogonal set, we want to convert the two vectors so that they should be perpendicular to each other. We will keep first vector fixed. So I will say let v1 be the same vector u1. So I'm not going to change the first vector. I'm going to change the second vector. I'm going to choose v2 to be a vector so that v2 will be perpendicular to v1. So v1 and v2 will be perpendicular to each other. So the formula for v2, the vector v2 is v2 should be equal to u2 minus the projection of u2 on v1. So this means that I'm going to write the formula of projection of u2 on v1 which was done in the previous lecture which is u2 bar minus the projection of u2 on v1 is given by u2 v1 bar upon norm v1 square into v1 bar. So we are going to use this formula to find the vector v2. So our vector u2 as I have written above is 0 1 it's written here minus inner product of u2 with v1 u2 is 0 1 v1 is u1 means v1 is also 1 comma 1 upon norm of v1 bar square which is square root of 1 square plus 1 square and its square into v1 bar v1 bar is 1 comma 1 right and this will now be equal to how much this is 0 comma 1 minus 0 into 1 plus 1 into 1 the usual inner product which is 1 upon root 2 whole square is 2 into 1 comma 1 which is 0 1 minus half comma half and that is equal to minus half comma half which is like minus 0 0.5 to 0.5 okay so this is v2 bar so what was our v1 bar so v1 bar was the original vector u1 bar which is 1 comma 1 and v2 bar has come up to be minus half comma half so here you can see this is u1 which is same as v1 and this is u2 and I want to make it perpendicular so I'm going to move the vector u2 and the moving vector I'm going to call as v2. So v2 is how much in our calculations we have got v2 is minus half comma half which is minus 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and now we can see that this v2 vector the, the final v2 vector is actually perpendicular to the original vector v1 see now this is perpendicular to v1 and v2 are perpendicular to each other and u1 is chosen to be v1 itself so this set s dash is v1 v2 is now which type of set it is a orthogonal set it, they are perpendicular to each other and now we want to convert this orthogonal set into an orthonormal set so i will say take v1 double dash is equal to v1 upon norm of v1 and v2 double dash i'm going to make them and convert them into unit vectors v2 upon norm of v2 so this is I'm, I'm going to construct v1 
dash sorry let me make a dash not a double dash v1 dash and v2 dash so this is how i'm going to construct these two new vectors so v1 dash will be equal to v1 is 1 1 upon norm of uh, v1 is 2 2 1 square plus 1 square and v2 dash is equal to minus half comma half upon the square root of the squares which is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 so this is 1 by root 2 so v1 dash is 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 now it's a unit vector and v2 dash is equal to minus half upon minus half half upon square root of half which is 1 by root 2 right so it is nothing but minus half upon 1 by root 2 comma half upon 1 by root 2 which comes up to be after simplifying it will be minus 1 upon root 2 comma 1 upon root 2 so this will be my vector v2 dash right and v1 dash is 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2 and this set now is our new set s double dash which is which type of set which is ortho normal set because you can see here that v1 is not of length 1 so we are going to make it of length 1 by dividing by its norm so now when it will become a vector of length 1 which is v1 dash now so v1 has become v1 dash of unit length similarly i'm going to concentrate on v2 v2 is also not of unit length so i'm going to divide by its norm and make it a unit vector so this black color vector is now what it is a unit vector so both these vectors are unit vectors and they are orthogonal to each other that is why this set s double dash that we have obtained at the end becomes a ortho normal set so in this way the gram smith process helps us to convert the two vectors which were 1 1 comma 0 1 which were only linearly independent we then converted them into orthogonal set right and uh, that orthogonal set was uh, v1 bar and v2 bar which is 1 1 and minus half half 1 1 and minus half half and that orthogonal set was further converted into an orthonormal set which is s dash s double dash which i have written above 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 and second vector is minus 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2 so this is the complete gram smith process which converts linearly independent sets into orthonormal sets